Hi everyone. I've been amazed by how many people, and it's generally come from the comments in a few of my videos, but I've been amazed about how many people don't understand the proper rules about yellow box junctions. So in this little video today, we're going to have a look at it. So what are the rules about the yellow boxes? Um, well, first of all, let's just have a quick think about why they're there. We've just gone across a keep clear on the road and they're for the same reason, that to keep that junction clear effectively so other traffic can flow. So the rules are, you must not enter a yellow boxed junction unless your exit road is clear. Now, what we mean by that, if this junction in front of us was covered by a yellow box, my exit in front where I'm going is clear, so I can continue. And if it wasn't clear across this other side, if there was queue in traffic, you should hold back. But you are actually allowed to wait in a yellow box if you are turning right. And this is the bit that people don't usually get. So if you are turning right and you are stopped from doing so, or stopped from turning right, by the oncoming traffic, you are allowed to wait in that yellow box. You are also allowed to wait in that yellow box if you are, again, turning right and are only stopped from turning right by other vehicles turning right. So if there's another vehicle in front of you that's doing the same and they're waiting in the yellow box, yeah, you'd be fine going in there also. Another rule, which is one of my rules, should really apply though in that scenario. I've usually got a two car rule in the middle of any of these junctions. So generally they're big enough for two cars to fit in there. Don't go off and make the third one unless you're certain you're gonna clear. So a little bit further up, we've got a yellow box junction. We're just gonna go and have a little look. Before we get there, however, this junction in front of me is not a yellow box junction. But the same rules should apply. So if you couldn't clear this junction, for example, the people turning right, if the traffic was queuing to the right hand side, these shouldn't have gone in the middle, the white van and the, uh, the black SUV. So the yellow box is actually there to reinforce what you should do anyway. But the difference with the yellow box, you can get penalty charges for going in the yellow box when you can't clear. But the junction we're talking about with the yellow box, so we're gonna have a look at today, is this one just a little touch further. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there's a couple of vehicles in front of me. Ah, the other one's just turned back into the left lane. And the other one's gone straight on any anyway. Um, perfect opportunity we can have a little look so we've got the yellow box um, I'm going to be doing a right turn pretty obviously so there are oncoming vehicles although there's only a few at the minute most people though think that you can't go into them at all and that's not the case so like I said my exit roads clear if we look across to the right there's nothing blocking me and I'm only going to be stopped from doing so by oncoming traffic so I'm going to go and sit in that yellow box and this is the bit that people don't usually get. However, we've got a filter arrow so I'm obviously going to clear but I could wait in there if required. I hope you understood what I was going on about. Now what about if you get a yellow box and you can't see that your exit's clear? Well, I'm sure there's other scenarios like we've got here. This again is quite local to where I am, but there's a yellow box trying to keep this bridge clear. Um, and it's only wide enough for one lot of traffic and it's traffic light controlled, traffic comes from one way and then the other two ways get to go. But there's a yellow box on top of the bridge, but I can't see whether my exit road is clear. So how do you deal with it? Well, you just literally do the best you can. You approach, 
make certain that it is flowing and honestly just have a look so you can see the yellow box it does look as though it's flowing but how can you see the other side of it until you get down here well you can't so there are some situations which are going to be difficult we've got another example up ahead you can see that this yellow box in front of us is clear is not clear so i'm not going to go in there until i can clear that yellow box and i'm waiting here behind it looks pretty good now the mini shouldn't have gone okay there's the problem with other people teaching uh, family to drive I'm not sure about the rules, but they hadn't even seen me, so gave them a warn, but held back. The other one behind was more of a telling off horn. But notice the problem happens when people don't follow the rules. I hope that does help. Um, like I said, I was surprised by the amount of people in the comments who um, say that you can't wait in them whatsoever. But that's not the case. I hope that's cleared it up. Keep safe, take care, and I'll see you all soon.